guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're just gonna sit down, hang out, and do our makeup, do a little girl chat. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I, as I'm going through this video, basically don't mention any product past like the first two. So I will link them all down below for you if you're interested, including this sweater. This sweater I got last year and I just saw that it was restocked, which I'm so excited about. So um, I will link my sweater. My earrings are going to be on With Love Sarah very soon. So I will link my website and this crescent necklace is on With Love Sarah. I'll link my nail polish. All the things will be in the description box for you below. I'm going in with the Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. And I'm probably not gonna say every single item that I use. So if I don't say it, everything will be linked in the description box. It's really hard to talk and say products and talk about products. I'm just not that good at multitasking in that way. I'm the queen of multitasking, but not in that way. I already am planning out my holiday content, which is insane um and i asked you guys what you wanted to see during vlogmas i feel like this year's vlogmas is going to be different because last year we kicked it off by going to the christmas tree lighting downtown detroit which i'm assuming will i mean i don't know if it's going to happen or not but like we likely won't go because it would be crowded and we've been avoiding all things crowded so that's something we do every year that I don't think that we'll do, which is kind of sad. And then um, we went and picked out our Christmas tree, which I'm not sure how they're going to do that this year. I mean, you're in a field, so it's like your distance, but to get out there, you're in this like crowded hayride. So maybe they'll just do smaller amounts of people. But either way, I just feel like Vlogmas is going to be different because we're not going to be out and about as much as we were last year. Um, but I already have a ton of fun stuff planned, which I'm very excited about. And I asked you guys what you wanted to see. It seems like everyone is shopping earlier this year than normal. Let me know in the comments if you have started shopping for holiday stuff, when you're planning on shopping. I want my content to be as useful as possible for you guys. Normally, I post a couple of gift guides in November as well as my, um, like my Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff. And then I post a couple in December with my stocking stuffer video, but I kind of think I might do most of my um, gift guides in November because it kind of seems like everyone is already shop. I already feel behind, which is crazy. So yeah, Vlogmas is gonna be a little different this year. If you have any requests for videos that you would like to see during Vlogmas, let me know in the comments. I am trying to be as prepped as possible because Obviously, the shopping season is busy for With Love Sarah, and then also, which if you're new here, it's my jewelry business. So it's like shopping season for that, and then on top of that, vlogmas of posting a video every day. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, so I'm trying to plan as much as I possibly can and just make sure I have everything I need to film videos and get everything up for you guys. I am so excited for Christmas this year. I feel like, I don't know. I think I'm more excited about like decorating the house and stuff than I normally am just because this year has been so weird and having the house decorated for Christmas always brings me so much joy. And speaking of my house, I asked you guys what you wanted me to talk about in this video and um, some of you guys were asking questions about the stuff around our house. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been doing a bit of a kitchen refresh. We started over the summer we started um, slowly replacing our appliances and then we just got our new countertops installed i think last week i'm filming the entire thing but it's been a long process so i've been filming it for a couple of months now um, and we got all of our appliances on facebook marketplace because we're not gonna stay here we're thinking like another year or two and then we will be moving because this is the house that i bought I bought the house six years ago as like a starter home thinking I would be here for two years and now it has been six years. So I'm definitely ready to move, but we didn't want to buy brand new appliances or like things that we really loved because we're not going to, we're not going to stay here and we're not going to take them with us when we leave. I'm just putting another layer 
to cover my acne scars. Um, yeah, so we didn't want to like fully invest in stuff for this house. So we got everything on Facebook Marketplace except for the dishwasher we bought new. Um, but we just need to do the backsplash and um, paint and like kind of fix all of the drywall and stuff. And then I need to figure out what accent color we want to do so that we can get a couple of rugs just for in front of the sink and in front of the stove. And just like new dish towels and like accessories. But other than that, it's almost done, which I'm so excited to have it done. It's been a way bigger project than we thought it would be. And as far as next projects go, um, we don't really have plans. Um, we're definitely not going room by room. There's not a ton of work that this, this house needs. I do want to do a refresh of just decor stuff, but really the I mean, the bathroom could certainly use updating. I just don't think that we're going to be the ones to do it because... I don't know. It's just a lot. If you guys don't know, Adam is renovating a home in Detroit. He's been restoring it. And so he has, plus working full time, like he has his hands full. And then I'm running two businesses. Like we don't have time to do this. And since I'm pretty handy and Adam is very handy, so we would do it ourselves. And we just don't have the time or, I mean, we only have one bathroom, so we would have to like make sure that we're able to use it the entire time, which would be really hard. So I just don't think it's something that we're gonna do. But beyond that, the house doesn't need a ton of renovations. It's, we did the backyard, which I can link that video up in the cards. We completely transformed the backyard over Memorial Day weekend. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. But yeah, we're, we're not doing a crazy amount of stuff. I think we're definitely going to refresh some of the rooms. I kind of want to just get like a bit of a different look, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly like how far I'll go with it because I want a new kitchen table. I've had our kitchen table since I was like 19 maybe. Like it was my first apartment kitchen table, but I don't want to buy a kitchen table for this house because I don't want to stay here. So yeah, I will certainly film any of the updates that I do. If I make any changes or anything like that, I will definitely film it. I want, I definitely want to refresh some areas. So hopefully I'll be able to do that and just kind of like change the look of it without actually like doing anything major. Okay, another topic that you guys were interested in was traveling during the time of COVID. Uh, if you don't know, we went to the 30A area in Florida for a honeymoon, and I live in Michigan. It was a 16-hour drive, so it is not close to us at all. Uh, we drove down there at the end of September, and I guess I do have quite a few tips. So Adam and I went to New York in July, which is to visit my sister, which is like a 10 and a half hour drive. And my mom and I are actually making that drive again next week to see my sisters and nephews. So uh, yeah, I've been on quite a few road trips. I've been on more road trips this year than in my entire life. I am not really a road trip kind of girl. I, if it's over four hours, I wanna jump on a flight. So. This has been a definite drastic change in my life, but we obviously want to stay safe and I don't want to expose my little nephews or my sisters to anything and yeah. So we have been driving everywhere um, in Florida. Basically what we did is we, a couple days before, went to the grocery store and packed a cooler full of all of our snacks, all of our drinks, um, some meals, basically everything that we would need to drive down for the entire day of being driving down there. And then um, we rented a condo in Florida. And that's actually the only place that I have slept overnight this year besides my sister's house. So yeah, <laughs> it was weird being in someone else's place, but we had a condo that had an outside entrance. So we didn't have to be on an elevator with people. We didn't have to be exposed to literally anyone else to go in and out. And it had a little garage. So we just pulled up to the garage, went into the door and that was it. 
um, and then we went somewhere that we could ride bikes a lot of places and it was warm out so if we wanted to get food we could sit outside on a patio I've not been inside of a restaurant since probably February I don't know if we went in March I was still doing 75 hard when um, COVID hit so we weren't going out to eat a ton because I couldn't drink and I was on that diet so I guess my tips are we ended up going grocery shopping when we went down there and we made some of our meals at the condo so that we weren't having to go out for every meal which I like to do anyway especially if you're going for like a full week I don't like to eat out for every meal it's just it's I feel like I always end up feeling gross like it's too much sodium and I just don't feel good afterwards so it was nice to be able to cook some meals at the condo so we went somewhere that we knew we would be able to cook meals we had a full kitchen and that helped us not expose ourselves to more people than necessary and then we obviously drove packed a cooler stayed in a private condo that other people were not there so we really did things as safely as possible i do think that it's possible to be completely safe and travel but i would be lying if i said that it was as convenient because um, traveling and not worrying about any of those things is much easier than yeah having to be concerned about random stuff so i do think that traveling is it's definitely different right now and it all depends on your comfort level and you know who who you're going to see after you come home like we see our family on a regular basis and we obviously are not trying i don't want to get sick i have a terrible immune system so I definitely don't want to get sick. I always put a little bit more blush on after I set my face because I feel like it kind of disappears. Um, but yeah, I, I'm always sick in the winter. So I am trying to be as healthy as possible because I don't want to get this. And I don't want to expose any of my family members to it, obviously. So I guess my biggest tip is just to go in and be prepared to have things be slightly less convenient and to know ahead of time what your comfort level is because if you go somewhere and you haven't been to a restaurant or something yet and then you go somewhere and you can't cook any of your meals and you realize you're not comfortable in restaurants your vacation will be much harder we obviously didn't get the honeymoon that we were expecting to get so i am excited because i think after our bigger wedding celebration which is in 2022 we are going to take the original honeymoon we would have taken had our wedding happened this year so um, i feel like everything is just being pushed back which that'll be fun i don't know where we'll go it'll probably we'll probably make a decision closer to that because it's still so far away um but I think that travel for a while is going to be different. I think 2020 will be the first year that I don't take a flight in, I don't even know, the la whatever the year was in my childhood that we didn't go somewhere. So maybe like sixth grade, fifth grade, I have no idea. But I have traveled a ton and... I mean, I used to live out of state, so I would fly home a couple times a year minimum. But even so, before that, I would always take at least a few trips every year, even to just go visit friends and whatnot, because the majority of my friends live out of state. So yeah, it's going to be crazy that I likely will not get on a plane for all of 2020. It's been a year since I've been on a flight, which is just so, so wild. In so many ways, this year has been just such a mess and then in other years i half of me wants to just forget that this year even happened and then the other half of me is like this is the year that i got engaged it's the year that i got married i don't want to forget that my sister had my little nephew like so many good things have happened but so many crazy weird things have happened as well i got a couple of questions about travel plans and we don't really have any um, i am going to new york next week with my mom and that is the extent of my travel plans 
for the year. I'm hoping we'll get to do a lot more traveling in like 2021. I'm not convinced. Maybe 2022. <laughs> uh we'll see i would love to know what you guys do you have plans or like where's the first place you want to go when you can travel again one trip that i'm really bummed about besides our honeymoon obviously is uh, my mom and i were going to go to ireland this year because my family my mom's side is irish and we really wanted to do that trip this year so i'm a little bummed about that um but you know what we have been able to spend a ton of time together and my entire family is healthy which is like all you can ask for i'm just using this dark brown shadow as my eyeliner today because i don't feel like wearing full-on eyeliner okay also tons of questions about faster way to fat loss which is the program that i'm doing right now uh, I am actually filming a video about it. I've done a couple of check-ins, but I'm going to do a full review of the program once I finish it. Um, it is definitely a cool program. I wasn't sure what I would think about it, but I have really enjoyed it so far. I was trying to explain to Adam. <laughs> I actually just took this poll on my Instagram the other day, but I was trying to explain to him that um, since I have kind of changed my eating habits, I wake up and I guess I'm just not bloated and it's like you feel skinny it has nothing to do with if you actually are skinny or if you've actually lost weight or not but you just your body feels skinnier and um I was telling him that since like probably maybe like week two and on I've woken up and I just feel skinnier so that is definitely an interesting thing um and then I do like that you it's not it's not so strict that you can't eat anything it's like you can eat it if it fits in what your macros are and i do like the workouts but i will say that i i already had a fitness routine that i had been enjoying and so i haven't been doing as many of the workouts that they do but for instance saturdays are always lag day and so i'll still do lag day on saturday but it's not necessarily the leg day from their program so i don't know if that's good or bad i just know that for fitness stuff you have to do stuff that you really like and a lot of the stuff that i do is kind of like a similar thing to what they do anyway but i just i don't know i like to do what i like to do so i have done some of the workouts and i have really liked them and other ones I've done and I just didn't like as much as something else that I've done. So it's all kind of just hit or miss, which I think is normal for any program. You're not going to like every single, um, like every single workout that they do, but you might like some of them. I also just feel like I have learned so much. I didn't know so many things or like how many carbs are in certain things. I had no idea. Um, I've never really tracked what I eat for any long period of time. I have followed a meal plan, but I wasn't actually inputting the food myself. I was just blindly following what my trainer told me to eat. So yeah, I haven't ever like independently made a menu based on what I was supposed to eat. So that has definitely been interesting. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. I'm interested to see what it'll be like after the program, like if I will still want to do everything like for instance for 75 hard i already drank a ton of water before the program but then after the program i continued to drink more water than i was originally drinking so i'm wondering if after this program i will continue to want to you know do low carb days or continue with intermittent fasting the fasting part i thought would be so hard it's actually it, it hasn't been bad i eat from noon to 8 p.m and then i fast and yeah, that part has been so much easier than I thought it would be. I'm going to let my um, lashes dry for a minute. Buxom came out with these fall lip creams. This is in spiked apple cider. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells incredible. And they have like a pumpkin one, something else. They're delicious. I mean, I haven't tasted them, but they smell delicious. 
And of course, this is the best gloss formula on the market. If you have not tried it, you definitely need to. I have still been getting questions about 75 hard as well. Uh, and I did a full update video of like life after 75 hard. I am continuing to work out almost daily. Um, it's really good running weather right now, but I know that that is not gonna last. So I've actually kind of been thinking about getting a treadmill. I just don't know. I don't know. Again, I looked on Facebook Marketplace thinking maybe I'd be able to find one. There's like nothing good in my area because I'm sure everyone else has had the same thought. I've actually kind of looked on and off for probably about six months looking for one and I just can't find one. So I think I would have to buy one new, which is fine. Um, I just don't know which one I would want and... Yeah, I just, I don't know when we'll be back to gyms, but I do know that I want to continue running through the winter. And once it snows here, I'm just, I'm not that hardcore about running. I will not be running in the snow and in the ice. So yeah, I have like a, probably like another month or so of being able to run outside. I mean, maybe not even that long. I don't know. It depends on how cold it gets. So I don't know, I've been thinking about getting a treadmill. I have no idea where I would put it. Our basement has drop ceilings and there was actually this like miniature treadmill here when I moved in and I got rid of it because it was like, it was an old treadmill. Like the belt was so skinny and it, I don't even know if it worked, but it was very, very old. And if I was standing on it, I could not run because my head would go through the ceiling tiles. So, and that's Adam's office now because he's been working from home. So I don't know that I, I mean, I don't know how productive that would be for me to be like running while he's, you know, on calls and trying to get work done. So I don't know where I would put it. I'm trying to figure all of those things out, but I definitely want to be able to stay active and do like running cardio um, through the winter. And I, one, I'm definitely not gonna run in a mask at the gym i would rather just not go to the gym i don't i truly don't even know if my gym is open yet i know that there are gyms that are open in the area but i don't know if that gym is open or not either way i haven't been and i don't plan on going so <sighs> i don't know i might get a treadmill but i guess the fitness update is that i am still working out regularly and still really loving it. I just, I've got to make a plan for winter because I don't think life is going to be changing back to normal before winter hits. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoy getting ready with me. I want to do these more often. Maybe I'll do them like once a month or something. I love just sitting down and chatting with you guys. I hope that you just loved to sit down and felt like you were chatting with me. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on anything that I was talking about. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos and so you don't miss Vlogmas because it is coming up in just over a month. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.